This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Edelis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Brianna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nura, Macha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kayla, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Baina, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Caden, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxin, Nicole, Terry, Hollow, Rebecca, Allison, Jacqueline, Jacaria, Mina, Lilith, Ange, Jasmine, Lizard, Haley, Kiki, Illyria, Lady Demista, Zebra, Lala, Ari, Amy, Busy, Molly, Xylosaurus, Rex, Lunaris, Galaxia, Maya, Novastar, Annie, Tori, Ariel, and Bulchi. If you'd like to support this channel and get some pretty nifty perks such as exclusive weekly audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. I've been waiting for you. No, I'm, I'm just joking. Uh, I, I, I could hear your footsteps outside and I heard you stop outside of my door and pause and I've always wanted to say something like that to someone. Uh, even though I'm not sitting in a swirly chair so I can swirl around the moment that they enter the door and say, ah, I've been waiting for you. Uh, but I felt like this was not just as good, but almost as good. I, uh, I take it you can't sleep, right? Because you're here? I also cannot sleep, but that's like me every single night. Uh, because it's just, I don't know. It's just not something that we've ever really talked about and I never felt the need to mention it, I guess. But yeah, I, there's not really a night where I go to sleep before 2.30. Well, you know, that's still... I'm still getting, like, five and a half hours, and that's enough of me to oper for me to operate on. And plus, if I'm not going to work, then how am I going to make money? So I, I, I make do with what I have, and usually when I get home and I come... Because I guess I get home about, like... An hour or two before you, I take that time and I nap a little bit sometimes. <laughs> exactly. So I'm getting I'm getting all the sleep that I need. But uh, the more important question is, if you don't mind me asking, uh, why are you here? <sighs> well, I guess I could use my deduction skills. But uh, maybe I kind of want to hear you say it. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Yes. You don't have to say anything. Uh, do, do, you, you got everything you need? You, like that blanket and pillow is going to be enough? You know, you could just like. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. Pillow in the middle and the uh, blanket for extra warmth. You can for sure sleep in the bed. That's fine. Why would I be weird about it? Well, I haven't asked why you want to sleep in the same bed as me, but... I have to imagine it's because you can't get to sleep and would pro and and whatever reason that is I'm not going to pry into but uh it would be easier with knowing that you had someone beside you even if that someone is me. So why am I going to say no to that? You're my best friend. I want to make you feel as comfortable as you possibly can. 
Plus, I know you have a presentation tomorrow and you need a good sleep in order to do that. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd see the day where you look shy. <laughs> no, you do not need to uh, knock me out. Thank you very much. In, in fact, considering the f that I'm offering you the opportunity to sleep in bed with me, which is what you are here to ask me for, I, th I think I should be treated with a little more respect than that, don't you? <laughs> okay, come on, just just get just get in the bed. All right, just get in the bed. <laughs> You are, you're a piece of work. And by piece of work, I mean, you're, you're the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I had, I had that idea for a while now, honestly. I was thinking about that one for a bit. I, w I won't lie to you. Hmm. Hey, no, 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 no. Listen, if you're coming in here, we are splitting the bed 50-50. You are not shoving me out. You literally take up half the size that I do. We're, so we're not doing that. <laughs> Believe it or not, it is possible for me to both care about you uh, an, an insane amount uh, and also want to be able to get my sleep and not get pushed off the bed in the middle of the night. Because whenever I come in to wake you up in the morning, uh, you are always on the edge of the bed. And I just have a feeling that your subconscious would make you roll me off the bed. I know it's a good call, but thank you for the affirmation. <laughs> so there are two options right now. We can either have like a little pillow talk. No, no, like we're, we're laying in bed together. Just a little like conversation and watch some TV to help us wind down, or you can just try and go to bed right now. Because I know it's the former, because I could hear you tossing and turning around, and I know that you got wound up in doing this, because I know this is a pretty big step for you to even ask me something like this. So I know that you need a relaxation period before you get to or, or are even able to actually sleep. I mean, you're my favorite person in the world, the yin to my yang. If I didn't know you by now, that would be a little bit silly of me, right? So uh, do you want to... Really? Did you know that there was a tweet out there that said that uh, in the, the rain in ASMR is actually just like fried chicken noises? Like literally chicken frying? Isn't that wild? Yeah, so if you're listening to that or you listen to white noise, you're just listening to chicken frying. Or at least that's what people will say. I'm not trying to ruin white noise and ASMR rain sounds for you, but I was just thinking maybe we could watch, I don't know, something relaxing, maybe to listen to some like really relaxing music. Oh, gotta be honest with you, wasn't expecting that one. But if you want to just have a conversation, then sure. I love having conversations with you. 
Yes, even if in half of them you are trying to bite my head off, I know you're not right now because of the mental state that you're in. Ah, oh, come on, you've been kind of visibly shivering for the past, since you opened the door. So I'm not going to ask what's wrong. But I know that something is off and maybe you had a nightmare or maybe you just aren't feeling well. Maybe you're feeling a little sick, but I'm here for you regardless of what the answer to that is. Well, when you talk to someone every day and you listen, and you're a listener, which I, I'd like to think that I am, you get to know somebody inside and out. And that's how I feel I know you. Inside and out. <laughs> no, we, do, we don't have to talk. We can just sit in silence if you want to. But if you want to talk, we can also talk. Either way is fine with me. Why am I what? Because I know that under that thick layer of sarcasm and what can sometimes be perceived to others as rudeness, I know that you are a big ball of fluff. I know that you know that I know that you are a big ball of fluff underneath that external layer that you have to get through. And I think that I've been around enough to see that other layer of you and know that it is the organic layer. The other stuff is just kind of like a permafrost layer over that layer. So I don't really take when uh, the, the stuff you say against me seriously. I don't know. I know you're a sweetheart. And honestly, I'm kind of honored that I get to be the one to experience said sweethardness and know about your little secret. Sorry if that sounded patronizing. I was trying to be cute, but it didn't really work the way that I wanted it to. I am always up for questions. I'm always up for questions regardless of what time it is. Trust me, I have had a harder questions and conversations uh, internally uh, at this time of night. So don't, don't worry. Anything is on the table. And just because I seem a little bit out of it, it's because my body in, is like physically tired, but my mental state isn't there yet. So that's why I seem like that. I can see, if you don't mind me saying, I can see your brain going all over the place inside you right now. And I can kind of feel the heavier breathing on the other side of the bed. And if you don't want to talk about it, it's totally fine. I'm not trying to discourage you from talking about it. I'm just letting you know that you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm, po I'm positive. I am I am absolutely positive. We can just sit here in silence with the knowledge that the other one is on the other side of the bed and that can be enough. You don't have to tell me what's bothering you. You don't have to do anything. Okay. Okay, well, if you can't do it, then just...
that is, that's a good question. No, 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 no. Just because I didn't respond within one second doesn't mean that I'm uncomfortable. Doesn't mean that you should leave. Please do not leave. I am asking you personally to not leave. Okay? Here, hold on a second. I have this teddy bear that I've had since I was six. Uh, and I always keep him in my nightstand uh, just in case I need a little extra comfort. And it looks like you need that right now. So just hold on to that for me, okay? His name is Theodore, also known as Teddy, also known as Teddy Bear. I think you can call him Teddy if you want. So to answer your question, I value our friendship a lot more than you can possibly imagine or maybe not as maybe you can possibly imagine it because after that type of question I might sense that you feel the same way uh although I do know that underneath you are a very sweet sweet person that layer of permafrost is still there and there is a layer as you said of like volatility and i <laughs> no come on i am no it is not that just squeeze Squeeze onto Teddy a little bit more. I promise you I'm not, this is not going where you think it's going, although I can understand where you think it's going and why you would think it's going there. I didn't want to make the first move and throw off that equilibrium. I didn't want the permafrost to grow anymore if I approached you on a day where you weren't feeling up to it. Sure, I think I know you well enough to not do that, but also you are your own person and I can't 100% know the feelings that you're feeling. Uh, so, and I know that if you are in a state of volatility like that, you there's a potential to make a decision that's not beneficial to anyone. So I waited. Uh, and I wanted to wait until you said something, if you would say anything at all. So to answer your question, that is why I wanted to wait for you to make the first move. And is it safe to say that you asking me why I never made a move on you does that count as the first move? Then I would very, very kindly like to ask if it would at all be possible for me to pass this border right now and give you a kiss. Yeah, that was uh that was a uh, that was really nice. Like really 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 nice. And I can also see that you have stopped shaking now, which is really really good. Uh I hope you know that I meant everything I said oh my god <laughs> I'm sorry I 
completely didn't realize I didn't even say it. Yes, um, I was kind of too caught on like making sure you were feeling okay. I, I like you a lot. I do like you a lot. Uh, you are like literally my perfect counter. You help me feel more off the ground. And I think I help ground you a little more. And I think those are both essential things to both of our well-beings. Because I know that I've lived without you. And I know that when I've lived without you, I haven't felt as alive as I do when I'm with you. Yes, yes, you can. So, I hope I'm not being too presumptuous here. Maybe I am. Would it be okay if we got rid of this pillow and maybe we could cuddle and watch something while we drift off to sleep? Oh my God. I hope you know that this is a terrible idea because I, I I'm never I, like feeling you in my arms is something that I am never going to want to give up. Well, I guess whichever person's room we don't sleep in, we could turn it into an office for the two of us. <laughs> Your hair smells really good, by the way. So, uh, what do you want to watch? I don't know. I was kind of feeling like maybe like one of those two hour nature documentaries because then you're actually getting the real sounds of nature. And I don't know, there's always a soothing voice narrating over it that can help, help you fall to sleep. I don't know. Maybe I thought that that was a good idea.